Hello and welcome to another video on how to create a game like Clash of Clans. In the previous videos I finished the game and since then I have been running some tests and realized 3D is not the best approach to make a game like this. So I decided to convert the project from 3D to 2D and if you're interested you can follow up this video I'm just gonna make a few changes and basically a big part of the project is going to change and I've already written some of the code and we're just going to replace it in this video. So don't forget to subscribe and let's get it started. At first I'm going to download the source code for the last video. It was part 36. Uh, let's extract it here. And now if we take a look you'll see that we have a server, we have the client and we have the exported database tables. So I've already created a database. Here it is clash test. And I'm going to quickly import the tables. Here it is on my desktop, part 36, skill file and import. And now if we take a look, you'll see that in the client, we have the exported package as well. So we don't need to open the project. I'm just going to create a new project and import this Unity package. Also, I'm going to open the server project as well. Let's open that. And here in the Unity Hub, I am going to create a new project and make sure to select 2D core for your project because we want all the tools inside the 2D, which includes a grid and tile map. And I'm just going to name it part 37 client and put it on the desktop and let's create the project. Now that we have our clients and our server, first let's change the database name on the server side. So I'm going to change the SQL database variable to the name of the database that we've created. So that's for the database. And now I am going to import the client project as well into my Unity. Here it is. I am going to import it all. So I'll need to import the input manager. So let's do that using the package manager. Now let's find it. Here it is and install and I'm going to restart the project. Okay, now we have our client project and our server project ready. So let's first set the game resolution on full HD. And now if you take a look at the description of the video, you'll realize that there are two links to the source code. One of them is for the entire source code of the project after this video is finished. And the other one is for this folder here. So basically this is the changes I've made to the project, which we are going to apply right now. So you could either follow me with this video or you could just download the entire source code and just use that it's up to you so we have a bunch of scripts and an image which i am going to use as the building's base area now to start let's just cut this scripts those two are going to go into the ui folder but these scripts we're just going to open our scripts folder let's actually show them in the explorer and i'm just gonna paste them here and replace them. Of course, I'm using the same namespace, so I could just replace it like this. But if you are using your own namespace, open every single script and just copy paste their content. So now let's also cut the UI scripts and go back to the scripts folder here in the UI. I'm just going to replace them right over here. So now if I go back to the Unity editor, you'll see that everything has been replaced and we don't have any errors. Before we continue, let's also go to the sprites folder and just drag and drop this isometric tile image into our Unity editor. And we're going to use it as a sprite 2D. And now I'm going to go to my start scene and here in the build settings, let's remove the sample scene and add the start scene. And now let's go to the game scene and also add the game scene to the build settings. So now for the map, as you can see, we have a grid, which is a build grid, but we don't need the ground base. So I'm just going to delete that. And of course, the forest that comes with it. Now on the grid, I am going to attach a grid and under grid, I am going to create a 2D object, tile map, isometric tile map. And now let's select our grid and let's see where it is inside our scene. As you can see, here is our grid. Now, if I select our game object with the build grid on it and let's assign the grid here and also the tile map, you'll see that the gizmos are going to shown, which indicates two areas. 
the red area being our build grid the area which our buildings are going to be placed and the blue area is the bounds of our camera the area that camera can see now I have prepared some pictures that I'm going to use but I'm not going to share these pictures with you because of their license these pictures are not going to be in the source code but you could download similar images like this here they are I'm just gonna drag them inside my unity project here on the assets now I'm going to open this and I have this village background which I am going to drag on top of our layout and let's bring it right over here so for the grid make sure put it on isometric and the cell swizzle be on XYZ now for the cell size I'm going to choose 1 and 0 0.75 and also make sure to reset the position and rotation of our grid so there is no position and no rotation on any of these values let's also reset it for the tile map and as you can see every position and rotation in the entire map hierarchy is set to zero now we created our grid it's time for adjust our background to our grid so i'm going to adjust the background to this red area by scaling it so let's do that i'm going to scale this to be something like this and let's move it up here maybe scale it a little bit more so just adjust it based on the background you have so i think this is good enough now if you take a look you'll see that the red area is covering the map and for the blue area let's select our grid and if I change the values of right left up and down I can change the blue area the area which is visible to the camera and the camera cannot go beyond that blue line so for the right I'm going to increase it to this point the same thing for the left and also for the up and let's take the down over here and now we can go ahead and make sure the reference to our scripts are still exist so because we replaced the scripts you might lose some of the references but thankfully these references are still here even in the main as you can see the grid is still here now in the main script we can just set this to zero because all of those buildings are for the 3d so we don't need any of them so they're all gonna go the same thing on the battle on the battle units these guys need to go as well and we need to create new units and buildings so to create buildings first on the grid i am going to create an empty game object so let's say this is going to be town hall and i'm going to reset the position of the town hall under our grid so now let's choose the town hall image drag it under this and we are going to set the layer of our village background to zero and the town hall maybe let's say set it to four and as you can see it's here now let's zoom in a little bit now under our sprite we imported a tile that we are going to use as the building base area so let's drag this also under the town hall I'm gonna bring it over here so this is going to be base and we're going to set this to three now let's disable the town hall for now and as you know town hall size is four in four tiles i'm going to scale this to a point that it's occupying four rows and four columns and now i'm going to bring it right over here and now if i enable my town hall and also scale this down and i can even move it to this point and that's it now on the town hall let's go ahead to the scripts attach a building this is going to be town hall four and four and that is the base area now in the prefabs in the buildings i'm just going to delete all of this and drag this here and now we can create more buildings using this let's actually create the gold mine as well and also change the id to gold mine and for the sprites i'm going to change it to the my gold mine sprite and let's also scale down the base area to occupy three tiles and also scale up our gold mine to a point that we like i'm also going to rename this to building and if we go to the prefabs buildings we could make a prefab out of this original prefab and let's also do the builders hot 
so the id is going to be builders hut oh and make sure set these to two and two we forgot to do this on the gold mine change it to three two three now back to the builders hut the image we need to change that i have an image here for it and for the base i could just set it to this and move it right over here now let's create a prefab out of this one as well and to create units we can do the same thing like we did with the buildings so let me create an empty game object here and name it barbarian let me disable the builders hot so i'm going to go to the script and attach the battle unit and under this battle unit i have an image for it let's take a look here it is i have a knight image and let's set this to the same value as our building which was four so it's a little bit big so i'm gonna scale it down to this and i think this is good enough now if we go to our prefabs and the units i could just go ahead and delete all of this now i have my barbarian over here and if we do the archer as well let's change this to archer and maybe change the color because i have only one image for the units so here we go and also we need to create a project tile here i think we had the ui project tile but it is in 3d it's in a sphere to create that let's create an empty game object and name it project tile i am going to attach the scripts ui ui project tile to my game object and under this i could just go to a sprite let's just bring this blank sprite for now and change the sprites to let's say a knob for now it's not very important and of course we need to change the layer to let's say four and i don't know if it is visible let's change the position here it is yep it is visible and let's uh, make a prefab out of this inside our prefabs here it is projectile i can go to my ui battle here and change the projectile prefab right over here now i'm going to pause the video and create all other buildings and all other unit prefabs so we could continue our project okay i have all the buildings and some of the units that i need so let's go to the main here in the buildings prefab first of all i'm going to lock this and here i am going to assign all the buildings to the building prefab and let's unlock it and go to our battle and lock it again in the units here let's assign the units prefabs let's go to the scripts folder and let's open the camera controller down here i have a variable here they are plane down left and plane top right these are going to be set automatically so let's actually hide them in the inspector and the same thing for this one as well now if i right click on this and find all the references to this we should find ourselves a list of scripts that are referencing those two variables in our camera controller so i've already made the changes in the building because if you remember we also replaced the building script so that's good in the camera controller that's good too in the ui battle as well it's been changed but here in the ui build if we go and take a look you'll see that here is still using the z value which we need to change it to the y here in the ui build script in the update so i am going to change all the z to y here it is and here so that's it for that let's save it now let's go back to the unity editor and i am going to save the scene and now let's go back to the start scene here it is also i'm just going to delete the sample scene because i don't need it now let's start the server so here's our server let's also start the client okay i'm just going to create a new game let's name it john and send and here are my buildings and let's see if we could move them yes we can here we go and basically this is pretty much 
our building system. Now, if we want to place a building, let's see if we can. Everything works just fine. So if you found any issues, make sure to let me know so I could try to fix it. You can contact me in Discord, link is in the description, or you can send me an email. And also please make sure to subscribe. I wish you good luck and thanks for watching.